very much needed and we need to promote that one. This promotion is through dissemination of knowledge. Like say, okay, we are students of India, but people are talking on the same way. But first, that promotion is that we have to have confidence building with those dealers people who are working in this area. This is one of the area where uh, the society for income alone is working, by of the Bandara working too. The society for income alone was maybe uh, 2012, and uh, with the uh, mentorship of the society of Abdul Kalam, uh, who made their things in different ways that uh, putting that. Uh, uh, main slogan of this uh, society globalizing local knowledge and localizing global technologies, uh, which was an event made at Kolkata uh, with uh, 55 countries, including Nobel laureate uh, Dr. Luke Molteri, and who joined here. And in fact, uh, so these are. Uh, a Nobel laureate no? that who discovered the HIV provider. He was also there, and by that we are both which was initiated by the task uh, from other 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 universities at that time, and this uh, uh, that uh, made this society and that society took a long aspects from that and been working with many organizations. In fact, Guwahati uh, has a chapter, but the Chandra is the coordinator, so many of you can explore that in India with a lot of programs. Uh, on this particular aspect, but how best you can work or you can do much more research on the development of those traditional medicine centers. So what I feel, uh, so like uh, you see that one health is a concept which you are uh, the European or the American is practicing for a long time, and if you think about our own concept of Ayurveda, the one health concept is very well established. This personalized concept is being practiced by the traditional healers. They don't give the same medicine to me when I am suffering from other disease. A similar disease for other persons may be different the way. So that means what they know about this personalized concept, they know about all those concepts of uh, uh, the integrating or unified approach uh, to balance and optimize the health of the people, uh, animal or environment together. In fact, these are the concepts that all these perspectives are being not up to this of pharmacology, where we need to work more on developing science behind that. And, and, and for that, this evidence based Ayurveda, this is one thing what has come now, and everybody can know about that, that how much we can develop evidences, how much we can review, how much we can explore. I believe, see, consider all the students and others who are present here. If you see that none of us are here to begin to choose the diabetic guy during COVID time. Everybody does. And it is not that you are doing the mechanism of action, how it will work. We were not doing that, uh, uh, what is the marker present there, how much percentage. But you are taking that one, if you are taking, and we get. Benefit, definitely out of it, and that is why there are good things you now. We survive many of us. Context is that that it is not that uh, those people hey, who are using that practice for years to do that, they are wrong in any way, as I said. That they have their own way of treating the people. We need to do more science on that, we need to know more. the mechanism of action of those drugs, and that is the science what we do that. Where I believe that. There was a tradition, and there we have a trend now. This trend is that how best we can do, or we can develop the scientific evidences for promotion of our whole context, that is from Ayurveda Siddha Yugani, the body fat drug, which has its own root because the Ayurvedic system uh, all are codified, and this has a strong setup with regulatory perspective. But for those traditional medicine, Again, those things are coming up into the pipeline, and many of the IOT uh, institutes, including CCR schools, are they are working on this project in the highest level. So, when you talk about, say, I am a pharmacist, I believe in one thing that there is no magic in the world. No? If you take something, there, is, there are molecules, those molecules together do some biochemical reaction inside your body, and that's why we get the effect, the therapeutic benefit. Now, this therapeutic benefit, they lead you to some side effects 
at some time those high elements can be dangerous. Yes, we will suffer from that. At the same time, those all biochemical reactions are occurring in your body. That itself helps in developing the whole context of therapy. So we have to know not many things of your pharmacology, cytochemistry, uh, then uh, your pharmaceutics, the pharmacokinetics. Obviously, if it's with the pharmacology, then we have to know the remaining aspect of the therapy process and many more. Now, all this context, if you see, those are all the ideas. And if you translate that one, the translation of data point is what we saw, those translations leads from this evidence based language. And when we have those things together, then definitely you have to be grabbed with the product of evidence. Now, when you go on that, then uh, the main things come into that is microbiological drug development. We have uh, uh, our institute for research on that for microbiological research, where we take into account the traditional medicines, their validations, we need to drugs from nature, drugs from our ancestors. But these are all the things what our ancestors is producing now. So there are a whole lot of uh, procedures that we get the traditional knowledge of the community, we get the support of the community, we get the
So if we have this 200 like that block cluster molecule, no, a 2000, no? 2000 block cluster molecule, but we have 1050 percent, we have not got that. Doesn't mean that those are all I know science. That's a we are to we are not able to prove the science. And there is a way now which has been made to say so much of one context of that, and this is the idea where we all need to work on the standardization. And synergy means the molecules together with the activity. And this activity, when we do that, we have to move on a lot of aspects on that by which we prove that how much the molecules together work and how we can develop the mechanism. I'll give you some example of that. So, this particular approach really has helped uh, in establishing the mechanism so that we can do more things in our digital world and how much our things are working. And we can do more science on that, and that is the area which we need to work. Uh, in fact, we are blessed again that, as I said, that uh, really our country is great, great, and many, when you compare with others, you will see that uh, uh, we have democracy and we have also the facilities in many, many countries. Many of our national laboratories are so well equipped in the uh, European, American, and other things from that. You just think about any institute. Not least in India and other places, they have and many places where the instruments are subject. When this will be question, we come to you when you do such type of research with the instrument. Why do you get it? If we get those things, those are all available with a standard portal with uh, many of the institutes, you send your circles, they will do the results, and it will be paid for it. So, this is very much important. Now, coming to the point that when you work in our Indian uh, or other scenario, that when you develop a product, whether it's medicinal medicine or, or any other uh, product or we can use for uh, dietary supplement or something, we need to go with a regulatory zone. And here only this whole context is there. They like when any of you want to develop your own industry or your own setup, you have to think about the regulatory perspective. Without regulation, nothing goes in any country as compared with India, obviously not. So, it is very good to see that the government of India has taken a potential role on promoting this product process technologies or maybe the product which are developed from this particular development context. You can develop those drug and product for the use mode where you have to have much of those clinical context other things. Then you can develop those products in the FSSI with the lab supplement infrastructure and more. And you can develop those to the phytopharmaceutical program that we again government of India is instituted where this is under drugs and cosmetics act which has been included now where you have to have four marker elements you have to show this is not a single molecule the four molecules is present there even if they are not financially active it is not a problem whether your how uh, good your extract is quality of the extract is proven that's a phytopharmaceutical report good, good. And another is under section 32 of the Trans Act, where you develop a molecule like a screen or you develop a drug. And so this is the interesting thing. As I said, they, you go on relaxation control, getting a molecule like a screen, very small molecule, or even this that's all um, very big molecule. No? Everything is a, it is a blockbuster. But every time you cannot get that all the plants will keep, the molecules will keep the activity. And this is one of the uh, very potential area where we need to think on much more of that. That uh, very time we start with the plant, get a molecule, tell that that is not working, whatever is needed to the plant. Absolutely no, you are wrong because you are targeting a molecule. with plant produced as a secondary metabolite. Plant do not want the waste product of the plant. So this will give this maximum 0.2% or 0.04% percent like that. Yeah, that is the link what we get, and from there we develop the product. But it is not working, the whole is not going to be done. And you are not in two sides. And those are the ideas of the things. This is not that uh, it has been invited on us from the system. We have this chain. Like, say, you see the history of uh, aspirin now. You see, this uh, 1890 when it was invented for analysis of aspirin. And later on, the days has got the use of aspirin as it is. It is used for pregnancy uh, complication, it is used for stroke, dementia, and also in 2010 and 19 cancer. 
single molecule electron plant, how many activities are there? A very small molecule. Comparatively, if you go on the other side, you know, earlier the research of science, you know, it changed in different ways. Say in 1960s, the first process was that which is developed a toxic molecule isolated in natural product chemistry when you were working. You get not very toxic molecules, but apart from science, from also putting a toxic molecule, not toxic molecule, not toxic molecule, not toxic molecule. So when you get a toxic molecule, if you think that you put it by research, it's not, I wasted my time in it. But now what has happened? Now, if you have a toxic molecule in your hand, this will again clear the business, right? That dimension of that sort. It was a toxic molecule, so uh, nobody cared about that. And then later on in the 70s, this was research was done by the Indian chemist, uh, who is the uh, another in America now, from Rajasthan, and he invented that molecule that the digital gas company they patented. And that's why it was not even that much of a problem. And when it was proven that this is only the blockers that are for cancer, between the tax laws, then it becomes much more important. So, nothing in the whole aspect is a waste. You put your own research into the context and develop the molecules, that molecules can help to promote uh, the healthcare in very, very different ways. So, I will just give you some examples of that, but I feel that. Uh, we must work on that developing synergy. And this synergy, when it's not back to the traditional medicine, is the one of the major things. If you get a single molecule in working, that is the best thing. But always, it may not work. But for that, please do not think that your research is a waste or you are doing a, a wrong way of invention or something like that. Rather, if you can prove that how the molecules together are working, that is the best way of developing the thing. This whole thing is called system biology based approach. For uh, mechanical evolution of mechanism and mechanism of other things. Like, say, to identify the active chemical constituents, contributing to the synthetic composition, then systematically determine the synthetic interaction, and obviously help with the uh, eliminate the toxicity and many more. And then you come up with a meta bonding step. And this helps in that uh, the interaction index, combination index, isoglobulin system, biology, and all. But what we gain out of that? We can know the mechanism of action, we can have a new formulation developed, validate our electrical system, and develop the synergistic mechanism. And this requires this synergy and network pharmacology. These two concepts are very, very uh, important in the whole context of developing a drug. So nothing is new, these are all the old things in a new way. Like say, when we talk about this metabolomics, we are studying the metabolites. We have done this ultraviolet phase, the neuroscience phase, and also many things from yesterday. We have done the IR and MR mass spectrum to the body molecule. So, when now what we are doing, we have the sophisticated IR we are doing, and by those techniques, we are just making the things in a better way to the omics technologies. No? And this omics, no, metabolomics, genomics, proteomics, transcriptomics, toxicomics. Uh, all these things you know, that get that links together to knowing more about the subject. Not like that, that you are not doing all this. So, when you do acute toxicity, it's harder to talk to with mice or rat. That itself is some sort of mixture you are doing. But now, those things you are translating in every different way. And these are the things what we have to adapt with the modern uh, way of uh, uh, scientific evolution, where uh, we have to accept those evolving tools for drug finding. And that is the concept that uh, uh, where Ayurveda has had the main thing. Say, when you talk about synergy, you get synergy is not new. Ayurveda, our, our uh, sages, the Rishis, no? made those things several hundred years or thousands years back. In those Sanjitas, no? they have documented in a very, very different way. There is a concept of Yogobaha. Yogobaha is the aspects for which the synergy work. Say many of these alchemic formulations are polyhedral. And many people used to say that say single up standardization is very tough, polyhedral is tougher. Yes, it is tough, but when we, we can go to moon, then we cannot do research on our own plant, uh, uh, which we have been using for so many years. Just we have been we want the process and develop the things in a better way. And that is what we did now. So, 
What we do on that, we listen to that thing. We, we do the, the marker metabolite profiling, then this metabolomic study, go on the network pharmacology and combination synergy networks, and by that way to know the mechanism of action. And then you can even repurpose that one which is of the study and something, but anytime it may not work. Basically, you have to have your own idea here that don't take it as a big challenge. Yes, it's a challenge, but this challenge can be proven by different way. And this is all the best way of developing our own thing. Just the example of this. No? this many of you know that it is of a big and uh, it is used for uh, uh, hyperglycemia, or even it is hyperglycemia as well. Now, this chiroya contains a lot of components. So, when you, you want, we have to go with this MSM study, LCMS study, and these all call the hyphenated technologies. The small hyphen, LC hyphen MS, or GC hyphen MS, hyphen cost a lot of money. Because when HPLC are coming in mass spectroscopy, then that instrument cost is more. At the end, that decision of data generation is also higher. So, what we, when we do this MSM study, then with this, uh, say, like this Tribunal of Indian Gasham, get 13 compounds which are very dominant. And those 13 compounds, when you reach them, we get this combination synergy network, we get 23 targets interacting with these 13 compounds based on the network memory approach. And that network memory approach, this is the network, and that goes on to a pathway analysis for the basic disease for diabetes or hyperglycemia. This is the ATK pathway, that's that pathway, the adipocytokine type 2 diabetes results or insulin signaling or AMTOR, which are involved. These are all the pathways which will be in or biopsy. And those things link with these metabolites, and then you can create your own thing by which this whole thing works. Yes, and this uh, uh, this work we did uh, uh, with our group where the compounds are interacting with the feed protein, and that way uh, that uh, the mechanism of action of hydrolyzed is established by the work. Yes, these are many of the cases that we give out theoretical aspect. So in, uh, in vitro, we have need to do that one with ex yes, vivo and in which is which is again necessary. So you use this network pharmacology, know the pathway what is there, then only that pathway you will experiment with the animal and prove that that is your question. So this is very much possible of that. Here is another very interesting example with the animal experiment. In fact, this is one of the work uh, uh, which we did during this COVID time. You know, this uh, animal is not being used highly during COVID time for a uh, immunoprotection. To prove that combination synergy by network pharmacology is not never be approved, where the immunoprotein potential from the hydrogen is much more established, where 22 data points we get, and we use PCI network, which is known as this anti inflammatory agents, having the effect on this uh, upper respiratory tract infection, can significantly decrease the production of cytokine and the flow inside the cytokine. So that way, it really helps in developing the whole thing. So, like that way, we do go on to the uh, many of these drugs, and this is on the area I would like to request all of you to watch to. In fact, uh, this is one example with this uh, uh, food plant you know, that uh, uh, where uh, there are a lot of aspects on which uh, these things are working with uh, with a uh, specific uh, plant family uh, food places where there are more than eighty seven. Uh, Vegetables which is being eaten all over India, specifically East and Northeast. No? You start from Loki, uh, then uh, uh, your Momotika Charansia, Karela, and whatever the food is, that toxicity and everything. 87 vegetables are born, and see the beauty of the nature, they belong to the same family. And when you go on these metabolite things, no? you see much more similarity to many of the vegetables on that. So these are the context of which uh, uh, the synergy can be established. Now, if we make those things, then another way of making the whole aspects of realization is the, that how best we can promote the whole context to the world uh, platform. And this is one what, what uh, we have been able to do with our team on this that uh, people are monograph. 
Now that it is open, if anyone having any queries regarding this session, feel free to raise your question, please. If anyone having any questions regarding this session, feel free to raise your question. Um, today, sir, it was a very illuminating lecture. In India, we enjoyed a lot and can do very important activities of IS, IPS, you know. Uh, yes, yeah, we know that not different between it's a uh, biodiversity hotspot. And a lot of, I, 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 I believe that one of the uh, medicinal plants that is already been database is ready. And I just wanted to know what is the status of research on Yarsa Guma? Or what ideas we find out the metal tonight, or whether it is able to culture the fungus, which is the Yasa Buna, the high altitude, the fungus is there. So, what is the research going on? Thank you very much. In fact, I showed how our research will develop this and we are likely to be very interesting. This is the concept what we develop and we are promoting for our own Idea is that. That always we promote the whole aspect of this energy uh, discuss and in fact this aspect of the scientific uh, body sense. Body sense. So that's the uh, 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 one on the insect at higher Say, as 
So we are going to extract. The whole leaf was cross to a complete jar of leaf. So we are coming with the drama of extract. Reduction. All is reduction. <coughs> then from that extract, we are doing a flex match. Then from the panel, we are going with chloroplastic, bone, and some other. So from chlorine. We are flexible with lesser weight. We will reduction. At the end of the day, we put all techniques and everything outside. We are making a molecule which is hardly 200 milligram or 1 gram or something like that. So, that is my plan. That comes the molecule, the whole reduction. It is the molecule and the molecule is working at the end of the day. So, that is the just structure of the molecule. So, as far as you can see, in our system, we have to completely design. In our future, instead of going to the one molecule, the plant has hundreds of molecules. So from there, you see that what are the molecules together in the rest. Like, say, we show in the diagonal 13 molecules. So, we have been doing reduction there also, but after some mistake, all these thinking molecules is going activity, but molecules together is going to be That means no such Thank you. Good afternoon, sir. sir. I have a question that you have told omic technologies. Sir, can you elaborate what it is omic technologies? Omic, omic is a uh, cardinal of the other and it's like the toxicity study with the modern scientific tools with the toxicology. And when you do the genomic study with the modern scientific tools, genomics. So all these omics and the cardinology.
Thank you very much. Now I would like to call Doctor Minaksi Bhattacharya. Doctor Minaksi Bhattacharya, please come to the back. And also I would like to request Doctor Chibola Kattu to speak to Doctor Minaksi Bhattacharya. Now, I would like to call Dr. Jyotina Bogorna. Dr. Jyotina Bogorna. And I request uh, Ms. Galina Dhan to consider Dr. Jyotina Bogorna. Thank you everyone. Now I have an important announcement to make. It's time for us to take over the lunch break. We will reconvene after the break to continue with today's event. So please enjoy your lunch and be sure to return promptly. We have a more enlightening discussion and valuable insights awaiting us in the afternoon. Enjoy your break everyone. Thank you very much. Hello, hello, get a post post for the 